With Blackthorn Mobile Payments, you can take native iOS payments directly into Salesforce, either from within the app, or you can use it in combination with Salesforce One or with the Field Service mobile application. You can do this without having to write any code and by clicking a single button from within those apps. The card reader works by low energy Bluetooth, so it's very fast to pair. And it does EMV, which is the dip, it does swipe, and it does Google Pay or Apple Pay, which is done by NFC. And the great thing is that you can get reduced processing rates by processing in this fashion. So starting from Salesforce One Mobile, you can customize your screen to have logic based upon what transaction is due at that time, such as we do here. So from this account, we have a simple lightning action on the bottom for mobile pay that determines how much this account owes uh, for this particular charge and business process. So I click mobile pay, and this then launches our mobile payments app. And you can see the information from the transaction is pre-populated in the app. Clicking next, I can then see different methods for payment where I can enter card details if my card reader is having an issue, I can do an ACH directly, or I can go right into paying uh, with the reader. Now what it does is that it will look for the reader, and what we do is as soon as this light turns blue, which means the reader has now turned on, it then automatically detects a previously paired reader, in case you're turning this on quickly, and then you can swipe an existing card that you have. So here's a test card I'm going to swipe. And once the processing is complete, we can then go and, from my phone, return to Salesforce from a single link. And you can go to the related section and we're gonna take a look at our transactions. And here was the one that was open. You'll see it's now completed and you see the information about the transaction. And if we go into the payment method, you can then see additional information about the payment method that was captured from the card. And it has all relevant details that you would also find in your Stripe dashboard.